As a quick post-commentary FYI, this game suffers from freezes lasting several seconds every time it tries to load up a new MIDI track. It also has a tendency to load it up partially, or fail to load it up at all. When I say partially, I mean not all the instruments are loaded in. So to rectify this problem, I edited out most if not all the freezes, as well as re-added the completely missing music tracks. So if you see me complaining about either the freezes or missing music, but you don't see it in the LP, that's why. Everything was going well in Wiley City. Gas prices were high, people were terrified, and best of all, Dr. Wally was in charge. Sadly, the music's broken. His statues were all over the city, and people bowed to him. Life could not be better. But one night, when Dr. Wally was busy planning to take over Europe, he receives a message from a scout robot that says, The city's under attack, Dr. Wily. Shortly after the message, Dr. Wily gets his own transmission. It reads, Dr. Wily, this is Mr. X. I am taking over your city. Dr. Wily becomes confused. I pretended to be Mr. X in Mega Man 6. Knowing that his city will be destroyed if he doesn't do something, he dispatches Harta to defeat the quote-unquote Mr. X and reclaim his city. Greetings everyone, my name is Ettervel, and I welcome you all to my blind live let's play of Harta 2 War Ensemble, a Mega Man Classic fan game that stars a hard hat, which is developed by Damaged Games. The sequel to the original Hard Hat 1, it improves upon the design in several fashions. Getting the setup was a bit of a pain due to various reasons. The only downside I see so far is the longer loading times for whatever reason. I'll play this game on normal difficulty, so I can actually complete it on stream. I'm worried how difficult difficult it's gonna be. So here's our 8 Roadmasters. Samurai Man, Smoke Man, Wire Man, Acid Man, Baseball Man, Blaze Man, Chainsaw Man, and Tornado Man. Who should I go after first? Please pick my destiny. Samurai Man it is. Then I'll go after Smoke Man next. There's supposed to be some music playing there, but... It broke. Oh no. Welp, hold on a minute. Let's see if this works. If not, I'll continue on without the music, and I'll just add it in post. The only way I can think of fixing this is to restart my computer, but it's too late for that. Yep, there's nothing I can do here, sadly. The music's gonna stay broken for the most part. So here's hard at. We can jump and shoot, and in addition to that, we can actually guard from weaker shots. So for example, the Sniper Joe bullets I can deflect. More importantly though, enemies don't have iframes now. So now my pea shooter is not really weak. It's not the worst weapon in the game, unlike in Hard at 1. In general though, the UI is about the same. However, the fact that I can guard, plus enemies not having iframes, really makes this game a lot better by default. Also, when I'm guarding, I'm essentially docking, which has my hitbox height. Despite the gameplay feel of this game being better than 1, it feels glitchier in terms of the music.
The Summer Man's gimmick is essentially Shadow Man's gimmick. And just like in the first game, enemies can drop extra lives and tanks. Can I even reach up there? Perhaps with S stars or Tornado Wind? No, I can actually reach there. Um, no thanks. I'll just go straight for the end. It's eerie playing through these stages without music. Despite them being filled with enemies, it makes the stages feel kind of empty. Summer Man's stage was relatively straightforward, and thankfully his stage didn't place any of the blackout gimmicks right next to pits, so the level designer is getting better. Good, the boss music's actually working. Trying to ninja me as well. At least I deal one damage to him per every pea shooter shot. That's already an improvement over the first game. Down he goes. Pretty simple to understand boss pattern. And I realize the reason why the game keeps lagging every so often is because it's waiting for FMOD to load up the next musical track to play. And by defeating him, I get... Samurai Stars. And I can actually save my game this time instead of entering in a password. Someone asked for Smoke Man, so I'll go after him next. Don't worry, in the LP version of this, I'll edit out or reduce the amount of time where the game hangs. And now the music is deciding to work. Not that I'm complaining. Let's try out the S-Stars. Wow, this is looking to be pretty powerful. It pierces through enemies, as well as being a triple shot. And I can have the three volleys on screen at a time. And it just one shots the Sniper Joes too. Is this going to be the Metal Blade of the game? Great, the music's bugged again. Now it's only playing part of the MIDI track. I think this may also be a OS level incompatibility. It probably worked better on the older systems like Windows XP, 
I'm playing this game on Windows 7. It doesn't pierce to enemy guards, but it does pierce to lines of enemies. Not to mention it just tears through the jump bugs. I get the feeling that this game has a secret character of sorts. Judging by those one block wide tile gaps, and how easy they are to go through with hard hat. Halfway point. So far this game seems... Not that difficult. It's making me reconsider my choice of playing through this game on normal, instead of difficult. Then again, this may all change during the Wally Castle stages, or rather the Mr. X Castle stages. These stages are a lot more generous in terms of life pickups as well. The previous game never had this many lying around the world. Nor did it have pickups right in the boss corridors. So let's see Smoke Man's tactics. He's really weak to the Shadow Blade. I mean Shadow Stars. He'd be kind of frustrating to beat Buster only. But down he goes. And by defeating him, I get... Smokescreen. Does it make me invincible? Invisible? Acid Man Beta, got it. And if you're wondering why I'm paying more attention to the game, it's because I can't see the game and chat at the same time. Let's try the smoke screen. Alright, it actually makes me invulnerable to enemies. That's really useful. What happens when I do this? Does it explode? So it changes the acid from harmful to harmless. I suppose that'll be more useful later on in the stage. That was just introducing us to the gimmick. I didn't realize that the Shadow Stars can multi-hit the same enemy repeatedly. So this is where it's useful. 
Nice the introduction of gimmicks for us in a safer environment. The handoff from zero to off is a bit more delayed than what you'd expect. What happens if you walk in the acid though? Is it instant death? I don't want to find out. You get so much ammo for the Shadow Stars. So the acid is actually instant dead. And I just wanted to showcase how you can stand on top of the planet platforms like that. What am I getting hit by there? Well, I'm dead. I need to get used to the Plant Man platform delay again. The Yama Seas are a lot more aggressive compared to the Mega Man Classic series. See, I like how this stage is actually utilizing its gimmick, unlike most if not all the stages in Hard at 1. Uh, that was a strange screen transition. I just wish the Plant Man platforms were introduced a bit better. Still certainly better than most stages in the predecessor. Let's see what your tactics are, Acid Man. You're also weak to the Shadow Stars. But you take extra damage from the Buster as well. Compared to your stage, you're disappointingly easy. You should not take double damage from the buster. You're not that difficult. Not plant platforms, the flipping platforms, sorry. Hard but sort of fair. And by defeating him, I get the acid wave. Next up, I'll go after Tornado Man. That's an interesting design for propellers. Flame Stacks team? Fine with me. Let's try the Acid Wave. So like the Water Wave, but we can activate it in midair. Kind of glitchy though.
Note that the Lightning Lord's push effect does not take effect until you're close to them, close enough to them. The smoke screen is an awesome shield. It's essentially a better version of the zap shield. Maybe not better, but a longer lasting one. Especially as it can fire back at enemies while it's on. Fans work a bit oddly in this engine, but you can get used to them fairly quickly. Sheesh game with your generosity. Oh no, this is where it gets a bit problematic. I don't think the smoke screen protects me against spikes. Easily the scariest part of the stage for me. Thank you for guiding me towards Samurai Man stage. The Shadow Stars are amazing. Better than all the weapons in the previous game and probably this game too. Though the small screen is no slouch either. Invulnerability and shooting on demand is always handy. Well, for this stage, I lose all the music once I die. At least this extra life always respawns. So I essentially have infinite tries to get through this. This time, I'll destroy the Lightning Lord before I pass. These stages are about as enemy spammy as the first game, but thanks to them not having iframes, it's not too bad. Time to face off against Tornado Man. He's immune against the Shadow Stars. Even fire storm tornadoes at us. Immune to the acid wave as well, so back to the regular shot. Dodging those storm tornadoes is going to be the hardest part. It's alright, I wanted to learn his pattern first. Also it appears that these pickups respawn, so if you die enough times, you can refill the boss weaknesses.
How do you even know where the tornadoes are gonna come up from? Or whether he's gonna do his horizontal attack or vertical attack. Well, you can tell the difference between horizontal and vertical, but he can't tell where the tornado is gonna come from below. So the best weapon to use against him is essentially the smoke screen. The problem I have with this boss fight is that one of its major attacks doesn't have good telegraphing. Is this better than Pirate 1? In terms of gameplay, yes. In terms of music, no, because it keeps breaking. I think the early version of FMOD they're using here is not completely compatible with Windows 7. And by defeating Tornado Man, I get the Tornado Wind. And Jet Sled, so essentially item 2. As per Panta, Jethawk, and Metal General, I'm going after Blazeman. And I wish this game made up its mind as well when it decides to play the music or not. For the first time, it decided to play the boss select music. Let's try out the Tornado Wind. So essentially the Storm Tornado. Takes a lot of weapon energy to use relative to other weapons, but seems fairly powerful. Um, does the oil fires disignite? I guess not. And it's probably also instant death. All I can say is that Hard at 2 is much less frustrating and better balanced compared to Hard at 1. Enemies not having iframes is a huge improvement. The weapon balance is still a bit off. See, the Shadow Star is being extremely powerful. How do I even get up there? Guess I need a different weapon. I do like the idea of those flammable canisters. They open up the possibility of some nice risk vs reward scenarios. No thanks, I don't want to die today. Sadly, the acid wave is bogged a bit. More than a bit. I guess you're a cameo then. Can I blow this up? No, I need to see missile first. Instead I get an E-tank. I'm really thankful that this game still maintains its gamepad support. That already puts it above many other fan games at the time. And the MIDI music when it decides to play, in general is better than the MIDI music in the predecessor. But oh, this is gonna be fun to edit. 
especially with all the times the game decides to hang. The game doesn't need to be this generous. Then again, this game has a difficult mode which cuts down on the generosity. I probably should have played on that mode instead. Then again, I may come to regret those words once I get to the Dr. X stages. I mean Mr. X, not Dr. X. The count bombs igniting the oil is also an interesting idea. It'd probably be better utilized in Mega Man Maker though. So Blaze Man's stage was middle of the road in terms of difficulty. Another boss that's weak to the Shadow Stars. But his actual weakness is the Acid Wave. Makes sense as it's a liquid based weapon. And by defeating Blaze Man, I get Blaze Fire. Seems like a regular old horizontal firing weapon. Baseball Man it is. I'll do Baseball, then I'll do Chainsaw. And note it down, Buster. Whoa, ambush your enemies. And I charge this up. Um, seems decently powerful, but I have the Shadow Stars. Why bother using this? It's not powerful enough and you can't charge it. Plus it uses too much weapon energy to justify using it relative to other weapons. And when I first heard this music, at first I'd say it would be out of place. But in retrospect, it does work for a ballpark stage. And yes, I know this is Top Man's graphics. Okay, that's strange. Hardak climbs up ladders faster than climbs down ladders. At least that's how it looks to me visually. It may be just my imagination, though. I didn't expect these springs to be that strong. I wasn't even holding down the jump button. At least the music didn't break after I died. That happened to most other stages. Seriously, that strong? I need to jump over three rows of springs then. And I'm back over here, this time we'll use the jet sled. Why hello there, Fortress Boss. This looks like a job for the Storm Tornado. Case in point. I don't want to go for the extra life, it'll probably result in my death. So instead, I'll just move on to the next part of the stage. I just want to repeat my earlier statement that the smoke shield 
is one of the best shields in the Mega Man fan game history. Instant invulnerability for several seconds, and he can fire at the same time. Ah, uh, these sorts of jumps. I think I can make it normally, but it's risky. Just that time. Oh, whoa! When riding on top of the jet sled, it actually preserves your momentum. I almost made it to the end, but slammed against the wall. Well, I landed on top of the platform, but couldn't make it across. Made it to baseball, man. Only have one spare life, though, so I gotta make it count. I didn't mean to press M there. Wish these games had a dead zone modifier. Alright, boss time and no music. Let's try weaknesses. So he's weak to the blaze fire. Makes sense as it burns him. And you're right, Panta. I jumped it during the last time. And by defeating Baseball Man, I get the Baseball Boomerang. 